Hi traders, down for 2020 and here's a review of what I did today. Take a look at ZM, that was my first trade today. It just came down uh, close to breaking down under the lows. As you can see here, it's trending lower, uh, big move down, a nice bear flag formation. It's consolidating here and I'm about to show 4,000 shares right now. I'm short, expecting at that point that ZM would move to a new low. And the new low is just happening. Once it moved to a new low, you can see that the volume is growing, uh, the volatility is growing, and uh, ZM is now moving to the point, one point mark. Uh, bounced back a little bit. It did reach my target, but I kind of missed it. So I was waiting for another move down. And of course, you know, I always like to get my partials on the first move down. That's my one to one risk reward ratio, but I missed it. However, it kept to the lows and looked what's happening now, a new low two points, a little bit more than that. And I'm about to take my partial, taking right now let 400 shares and it continued to come down. So that was my, uh, one of my best trades today. You're gonna to see a few more now, but as you can see now, ZM behaved exactly as anticipated. It initially came down with a lot of momentum. It consolidated a little bit and then it came down again. That was the breakdown under the slows, which was the bear flag. But notice I shorted it before it moved to a new low. The whole idea of day trading is expecting a new low. You expect a new low and you short it before it moves to a new low. You don't take the breakdown, you expect the breakdown. And traders, if you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to give us a thumb up. The button is right here below. It will help our channel help the YouTube algorithm show this video to more people like you who may be interested in trading. So let's move on to the next uh, trade that I had today. The next is my Boeing trade. Now Boeing is kind of going sideways, but initially it came down and the airlines are coming down. And I was watching this uh, very nice red candle over here, thinking that it's going to come down and probably going to come down under the lows. And I'm about to short Boeing, shorting it here, 6,000 shares, expecting a new low soon. Well, it didn't happen. Now look at my stop. It's a very clear stop, just over 216, uh, 21560. But you know, you never move out on spikes. Mo not moving out on spikes is extremely important. Now it just spiked over my stop. I don't have a hard stop in the system. I'm waiting for it to pull back down a little bit. It did that and now it's moving over a little bit and I'm moving out of this trade right here. It is important not to move out on spikes. You need to let it cool down a little bit. You saw Boeing coming up, moving too quick over the highs, then you wait for a small pullback, you've got a nice technical formation there, and then over the recent, the last high, you move out. That cost me another 20 cents, but sometimes it helps me gain much more than that. Now moving to uh, mRNA here, and I'm about to short it, and I'm shorting it, that was a very quick trade. I really liked it, so I shorted it at 8,000 shares. And uh, as you can see, mRNA is a nice technical formation. It in fact has a V-shaped formation. You know, mRNA initially moved up, then came down. I was asking the trading on whether I should uh, take it on the short side. Now I'm gonna fast forward it so you can see what's going to, what's, what, what is about to happen. When, when you have a V-shaped formation, the stock is likely to continue coming down. That's the V-shape right over here. So I did went short, 8,000 shares. Now it's kind of going sideways, it's okay. The trend is still down, there's no problem in that. Of course, I was hoping to see it moving to a new low. I'm about to add now because it is approaching to uh, a new low. So I'm thinking this should be a good opportunity and I'm gonna add another 2,000 shares, as you can see here. And, um, here we go, it's about to move to a low, and that would be the point where I added, yes, right over here, 2,000 shares, because it's proving to me that it wants to continue lower. So now mRNA has a new low, it clearly is trending lower, although it took it quite a long time. Now I'm fast forwarding at a very high speed now so you could see what happened. But you need also to notice the fact that mRNA really kept the downtrend. I mean, it was going sideways, but it kept the downtrend. So it's 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 not bouncing way too much where I would have had my stop, of course, you know, somewhere over 110 or so I should have had my stop. And look at this new low right over here. I'm not adding at this time, but take a look again. You can see that it's very clearly coming down. If you take a look at the daily of mRNA, you can see that uh, it's also coming down under a lot of pressure. So I was expecting it to continue. 
it was on my shortlist today and as you can see here still going sideways it took it quite a long time I'm not used to that I always like to get to my first partial real quick and put the danger behind me but I had large size look at this beautiful breakdown right over here just broke down again under the lows you know whenever something like this happens I'm always waiting for the big breakdown that just didn't happen till now but it is about to come right now so take a good look here comes the new breakdown that's another very nice technical formation and that's the big one with the volume and I'm about to take my partial so as you can see I'm up like $13,000 dollars and I'm about to take my partial at any sign of a pullback and seems to me like it's about to do that right now again watching the buyers watching the sellers and at that point when I see a little bit of a weakness I mean weakness moving up took my partial and that ended up uh, as a beautiful trade now here comes my last and best trade for the day that was Tesla of course now take a look at Tesla Tesla came down initially closed the gap so continued a little bit more but now it's trying to move back up now it's very clear to me that it's about to move higher so I'm about to go long 4,000 shares buying right here 4,000 shares I'm going to first forward it so you can see what happened now Tesla the interesting thing about Tesla is that it was my pre-market pick I posted that in the trading room pre-market time because the daily of Tesla and we're going to take a look at the daily of Tesla later the daily looked fantastic for a long Tesla just moved to a new high and the way it behaves right now is just nice because it's trending higher shows me that it wants to continue higher and so uh, I keep watching it and now I notice that it is trending higher and take a look at the 70250 point that's the point where I would like to add because here right over here over this line you've got a beautiful technical formation for a long and it seems to me like the original point in fact the one I moved in wasn't as good as the 70250 so once it moves over 70250 I will add some more size you know when a stock is going your way you're supposed to be adding if it proves to you that you were right like what happened earlier with mRNA and now is about to happen with Tesla look at the way Tesla is approaching the 70250 mark beautiful technical formation just crossed it well it kind of spiked up didn't really give me a chance to buy exactly where I wanted but I did add because Tesla is a big mover so now I've got 6,000 shares and hoping that it's going to continue higher here comes the highs and uh, it's about to move over the highs and uh, this 70250 in fact was probably the best entry point but I couldn't have known that when I moved in over 702 and look at uh, the way it just breaks up to a new high that's just a beautiful trade and you know when Tesla does that there's a lot of people who um, who love to join it because Tesla is a well-known stock a lot of people are following it when you have a nice technical formation intraday right now in Tesla then you could expect a lot of help you could expect a lot of people to watch and follow and probably join you now again that's a first forward to uh, what happened in Tesla and I'm about to take my first partial because it's kind of stalling here in my opinion which proved to be a big mistake later you'll see but uh, I'm about to sell taking my partial took right here my partial that was a $13,000 winner or so and anyway Tesla did continue now I do want to take a look at uh, what happened to Tesla on the daily take a look at the combination of the daily and the intraday you see my entry point was right over here when it moved to a new daily high when the stock is moving to a new daily high you're not the only one you and other traders are not the only one who are buying there are a lot of other long term investors not trading who are buying so a lot of people are following this stock you know the technical analysis really is like a self-fulfilling prophecy a lot of people see something a lot of people are buying a lot of people are getting into a stock because it just moved to a new high so it's not just the intraday it's also the daily now let's take another look at the intraday here that the point where my trade was and uh, that the point where I also added and uh, look at how it continued higher well I did have some more size to enjoy that move uh, you can see that my result here is fantastic I mean I'm up over $34,000 for today I couldn't think of a better way to finish my trading year and traders um, 
as I mentioned earlier, we would really appreciate if you could give us a thumb up if you like this video. And of course, if you want to see more of my trading uh, content, please make sure to subscribe and you can turn on the notification bell so you will be notified of my future uploads. And if you do want to trade with me and my group or read my book or get a lot of other free trading resources, there's a link right here below, uh, which you can check it out right now below this video and just stay green, have a fantastic uh, now end of the year, enjoy your holidays and I'll see you all here next year in a few days, Monday. Thank you. Bye-bye.